Oh, this is pure chaos, though. Am I stunned? Yeah, we're, we're getting stunned here by uh, some enemy faction's uh, ability while we're trying to do this. I hope we can do this. I can't even tell what... Oh my god. What's up, everybody? Kinetic here. Welcome back to Tai Chi Panda 3 Dragon Hunter. We're going to continue here with uh, some more of the, the gameplay features and also kind of a demonstrate some of the uh, the little fun things that you can do uh, in this sponsored series. Don't forget that there is links down in the description of the video, of course, for more information and to download Tai Chi Panda Dragon Hunter 3 for free yourself uh, on your mobile device. And also there is an ongoing giveaway, I believe is still running, uh, and you can get yourself a nice starter package with which will give you a better start than even I had. <laughs> uh, but I'm sitting here pretty good. I'm at uh, level 70 recently. There's a couple more things. Uh, well, actually, there's probably a lot of things I could still show you, but there's a couple key things that I've had fun with recently that I would like to uh, to point out. Uh, before we get into some uh, of the action, though, I actually want to show you guys more on the, uh, the pet system. Now, there are mounts of quartz. And there are also like these little tiny pets. This is what's hovering around me right now. This is another little layer that you can add to your power, right? So if we go to the upgrade section here, we've got these uh, upgrade materials, which I've, I've gotten everything for free at this point. I haven't put a dime into this game. Uh, and I've gotten some of these upgrade materials. And by upgrading, you can see I'll get uh, max HP up and also defense up. Click that. Boom, look at that. I just went up plus 30 in might, which again is like kind of like your, your eye level, your overall power rating for your character, right? Uh, and then I could just uh, I can just keep doing this if I want. As much as I want to invest into this pet, which would be specifically to this pet, not all pets across the board. If we go back here to uh, the pet selection, I've only got three uh, at this point, but I've also got this like cute little, what is this, a hamster, a guinea pig or, or something like that. It's, his name is Max, uh, which is really cute. Uh, he's a level eight. Uh, uh, he was the first one that I got. Then later I got this one and I've completely forgotten how I got this, but it's it's pretty good. And you can see it, it here are the uh, the star rating and uh, kind of like the the might, right? The uh, the power that uh, that this little pet has. Uh, and then the uh, you can see the, the attributes on the side, talent attributes and stuff like that. And then this one recently, which I really like this one. I just got this today. Actually, um, and I'm excited to uh, to level up Kitsune. Can I just rename this whatever I want? I can. That's awesome. Let's call you. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll call you Shelby. Sh I, I don't know why. Just the first cute name that could come off my top of my head. And there you go. Uh, I don't have to pay for that or, or nothing, which is uh, it's good. I know some uh, some mobile games will nickel and dime you for every stupid little thing that uh, that you want to do, but uh, not so much here in Dragon Hunter. So if I want, like I said, I can just keep uh, pouring more and more of these uh, materials as much as I have into uh, my pet here and it's gonna uh, give me another layer to increase my power. We've also got the uh, the mount section here. So these are all of the, the mounts that I have and I can actually set up different squads they're called here, which uh, think of kind of like alternative action bars, except that they're for your mounts. So currently I believe what I'm using squad two, right? So I've got my, uh, my flyer and then my three uh, ground mounts. So if I want, I can set up an entirely different uh, setup here. We can go for the, uh, the unicorn here. We can put, what else do we want to put here? We'll go ahead and put our, uh, uh our ground mount here, another ground mount there, and then we'll take and put our flyer over here. So then we've got that selected. And if we go back, then there you can see there's uh, there's the selection of mounts uh, as I wanted them. But there's more. But wait, there's more. So we can go to uh, the unicorn section here. It's currently level one. Well, we can go to uh, do a number of things to, to upgrade our... Um, uh, our mounts currently upgrading is locked uh, until I get to 75, but I can upgrade my hero bonuses. So this again is going to require materials just like the pet. Um, all of these I've gotten for free from like the daily login rewards or something like that. So a little bit of gold, a couple of these materials and a couple of those. Click, bam, plus 150 might, which is, uh, is pretty nice. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that for my flyer actually you know what hang on a second i just remembered something 
I can unlock a, whoops, I can unlock a, a new mount or two. So here we have the, uh, the different mounts that you can get access to. And as you, uh, you level up, you'll, uh, you'll unlock more and more. So let's see, I could use diamonds to go ahead and jump to, uh, being able to unlock this, or I can wait until I, uh, I level up. And, uh, and that's basically how this works. So I believe, yeah, since I just got to uh, level 70, I can now unlock the Chaos Dragon, which has a, a Dragon Breath attack, Doomsday, and Destruction, what, S? S, Essence? Essence, right, yeah. So it increases mounts attack by 5%, reduces mounts defense by seven. Oh, okay, a little uh, risk reward thing going on there. All right, so then also here, what we have is kind of like different tiers of uh, capture scenarios, if you will. This is kind of difficult to explain. But basically, uh, from when I do this here, and you'll see here in a minute, we're going to like this arena and I'm going to sort of battle, if you will, uh, with the, um, with the mount. And the harder levels that you go towards, I believe the way that this works is it gives you an increased chance for your mount to level up, I believe, or to transform into a higher tier version of itself or something like that. I'm not in exactly sure. I'll be blunt about that, but uh, it's something something kind of like that. Let's just go ahead and jump into the arena so that you'll see what I mean. Obviously with each harder and harder tier that you try to do this, the more difficult it's gonna be to actually successfully do it. You are one big bastard. Wow, look at the size of you. This thing is absolutely massive. Okay, so if we get up close, how does this work again? I I think what I've done in the past is like just click my attack like that to kind of get its attention and then walk up to it and then click tame and then it's going to change into like a little mini game. So now I've got to try and keep this in the center. If it's going that way, then I need to click over here. Uh, it's going back that direction, and now it's going this way. This is going to be hard. Okay, it's flying back to the right, so i got to click on the left to try and keep it centered. And you can see that there, it, it's in the, uh, the middle there of that gauge, there is like a heart count. I've got to reach that count. And the fastest way I can get to that count is by staying in the middle where there's the highest. Now watch this, then there's kind of like a phase shift right there. It's like a little gimmick where it's trying to, uh, it's trying to psych you out into, like, tilting. Oh, but there we go. Hunt successful with a C rating. Not bad. And yeah, there it is. So... Growth size, increased mount flying speed. Mutation, mutation, that's it. Okay, I think that's actually what I'm trying to talk about. When you're trying to do the harder versions of this and it gets freaking hard. <laughs> like I've been on my like my tablet like, <laughs> like trying to keep it in the center. Um, if, you can, if you can successfully do the harder versions of this though and get it to uh, get it to mutate, then it's going to uh, to basically give you new abilities. So, for example, here, uh, special effect mutation activates random attributes, some kind of aura, a skin. Actually, let's go back to here. Purple flame reduces cooldown by a thousand to five thousand milliseconds when equipped. Increased damage amount takes for you by one, uh, five percent. Increases damage by one to five when mounted. Wow. So there you go. That's kind of like what the um, the mutation system that I was very poorly uh, trying to describe is basically about. Oh, look at that! We can already uh, give ourselves a uh, a go here and uh, and try and and fly it. Cool. But it's mine now. Uh, it's now added to the uh, the collection of uh, of mounts that I could use. And I've seen this like with so many uh, people. Look at that huge might rating uh, increase. That is awesome. I've seen so many people riding this and I'm like, when am I going to get a chance to finally get this freaking dragon mount? It looks so sweet. Well, there it is. And that's uh, that's basically how you do it. All right. So now you know what we got to do. We've got to get on this bad boy. Oh, man. Look at this thing. That is awesome. That That is easily one of the coolest mounts and definitely the coolest flying mount I've ever seen 
in a mobile game. You can see there's, uh, there's some people hanging out here uh, from different factions too, also in this uh, city with their mouths just chilling, maybe doing some RP or something like that. Uh, anyway, awesome, I'm really pumped for, for that. Now let's get back into some more action, shall we? All right, so if we go here to the instance section here, it's gonna show us all of the, the different dungeons that we can go into. I definitely wanna do Palace Hall uh, here in this, uh, this video with you guys on hero mode, but before that, I wanna show you guys a couple more things. We already looked at this, right? This is like the daily list. It's like a little solo instance that you go into and you do things like collect gold. Uh, in this case, today is the uh, the ghost bash on Wednesdays. Kill ghosts and, and get items pretty straightforward. Uh, we've also got the endless raid. I've tried that out, it's uh, it, it's difficult. What I definitely want to show you guys though, because this, this feels uh, more Cooperative <laughs> is the uh, is the monster siege. Each player will have their own part to play in the village. They must fulfill their duties and cooperate in order to fight off the demon attack. Uh, Garrett Town Battle is starting uh, during these times. Five people per instance, and you get uh, one entry by default uh, each day. Let's go ahead and we will uh, queue up, and this should automatically find us a, a group for the event. I right, saw so literally after I said the word event, it, it went ahead and put me into the uh, the instance here. So that was a very short queue. But you can see here from the introduction, uh, what there are is uh, what it meant by filling in roles is you will have three roles that you can uh, choose from architect, miner or summoner. Uh, the architect will create buildings, the miner will get materials that are needed for the buildings, and the summoners uh, can uh, can do a lot of uh, offensive capabilities. So we'll go ahead and close that and we'll choose a role Oh, looks like I can All be summoner today. Can fight on an incredible magic mechs built by architects. Simply tap the right button near the magic mech when you're ready to pilot it. Give it a go. That's pretty badass looking. Uh, last time when I was here, I was uh, architect. It's kind of giving me the uh, the tutorial now. Last time I was architect, so I was building the towers that uh, that pew pew on uh, on nearby enemies. And there's a bunch of oh, this is freaking cool. There's a bunch of areas where these uh, these towers can uh, can be built, uh, basically to uh, to protect the town. And we're gonna just go right out here. All right, the enemies are on their way. Somehow I dismounted the uh, the mech uh, on the way out. Uh, I'm actually wondering if you can only use the uh, the mechs while you are uh, while you're in the town. Like you, they can't be taken. Outside of the uh, the gates, maybe there's limitations to like where they can be powered or something like that. But the enemies are coming, and I can see on the mini map that I've got a few guys running around. It looks like the miners are uh, are getting materials for us. We've got, uh, from what I can see, one tower up, which is all right as long as we don't let the enemies get their way inside here uh, too much. We'll go ahead. Ah, I can see there's a, there's a group of guys out here as well, far out here. You can put a, a bunch of towers, as you can see here. Looks like we've already got two towers. And waves of enemies are on the way. Okay, cool. There's my mount. Let's go ahead and get on this. And it looks like I've got a couple of different attacks. The, you can see there's a, a wave of monsters uh, headed this way right now. Our towers are running defense. And let's see what this does. This looks like my bitch slap attack <laughs> so just slap enemies around all right cool and we've got that as well what is this it's not giving me any tooltips so i have no idea this also looks like some kind of uh like attack and it does good damage look at that i can definitely like wipe out these uh oh i see that actually did aoe damage there and this may be single target i think that that's single target and this one can be uh, this one can be AOE, kind of splash damage as long as they're they're nice and close up. Okay, so where the hell are my teammates? Uh, everybody's still in town. It looks like maybe they're uh, they're setting up uh, more defenses. I think our architect and miners, and I see enemies coming from all sorts of different places now. But uh, these towers are putting it work. Whoever did these towers did really really good. Because uh, these are going to help out tremendously. 
Oh, we get a big boy coming here now soon. Uh, yeah, they're all... I, I'm basically tanking at this point for the, uh, for the group in my, uh, in my mech and slapping the crap out of all of these enemies. I've got four towers around me, which is fantastic. This is, uh, this is gonna be good, I think. All these towers are really helping out to, uh, to deal damage. Uh, to all of these enemies, and since they're all pretty much getting huddled around me, uh, then the towers seem to be more or less uh, immune. I am taking damage though now, pretty significantly. I need help, yes, please, thank you. Finally got some backup here, somebody on their, uh, on their pink dragon mount, and now a green dragon mount. Oh, the reinforcements are here, baby. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So there we go. Just keep on slapping. Oh my god, really? Dude, we won already? Are you kidding me? That was insanely fast. The last time I did this, I, I, I am not kidding. We were here for at least 10 minutes trying to bring down that big baddie. But we just did it in like, what? Three minutes or something like that? I, I just... I'm blown away. That was so fast. But that mech, that mech is cool. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really relieved that that didn't take like 10, 15 minutes or whatever I did last time. Not that it wasn't like fun uh, even when it even took that long, but it was just, uh, it, this was surprisingly fast. I think we had some really powerful people or maybe my mech was just doing that much work uh, onto uh, onto those enemies. I don't know. I, I noticed that the towers were set up really nice and, and that was kind of like like hmm These these guys know what they're doing and sure enough. We, we beat it uh, in crazy record time All right, so from here we've got uh, activity rewards. Uh, this is no doubt because of uh, The the mission that I just completed we got some gold we got some XP which is cool So the more activities that you complete here uh, on this list the higher and higher you go and then you get more progressively valuable chests from uh, from within which is uh, pretty cool there's a world boss can we teleport to that teleport to raptor yeah sure okay so this I have a if I remember correctly this is a PvPVE uh, event and so I'm already getting attacked it looks like by a bunch of uh, people but there's the raptor now you, you even if uh, let's say you're you're just horribly outnumbered, right? Uh, in in this situation, like for example, um, like faction wise, you will still get participation rewards. Uh, why am I attacking this person? I do not want unless they targeted me, and that's why. Hang on, get off of Soul Eater. Okay, I'm in. I'm really in serious trouble. They, I think that what they're trying to do is they're trying to bully us. Wait, where did the raptor go? Is it dead already? I think the raptor just already died. Okay, well, in that case, then what now, big? Uh, no, wait. There's the raptor. The raptor just moved. That was it. I thought we were about to break out into like a giant war or something like that. <laughs> like a like a big PvP battle. Alright, I'm back up to uh, to full health. I might have gotten some heal assist from uh, from somebody. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Where the hell okay there. I can barely see past this uh, uh oh I'm taking damage. I need to uh, I need to be careful. In fact I'm gonna change mounts. And I've got an invite, you know what, I'll go ahead and take that uh, invite, close that menu, and get on the raptor. Oh, this is pure chaos though. Am I stunned? Yeah, we're, we're getting stunned here by uh, some enemy faction's uh, ability while we're trying to do this. I hope we can do this. I can't even tell what- oh my god. I can't even tell, like, how many of there really are uh, of them. There could be a lot more for all I know. There are settings in in this game, after all, that uh, that limit the number of, of characters on the screen. And I think I've got it set to pretty high, but not too high, because I don't want to, like, get completely 
lagged about. Am I tanking? What is going on? What is this thing? Why is this thing coming for me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right, we're cool. We're cool. Just keep attacking. It's down to almost two bars. Oh, I'm in serious trouble though. I've been dismounted. Like my mounts are getting murdered. I could really use some freaking heals. If we have a healer, somebody please. I, I need to keep my defenses up. Okay, I am getting some heals, thank goodness. Okay, just keep up the pressure. Come on, team. Am I still on? No, I'm attacking a desert bird. What the hell? No, get on the raptor. There we go, lock on the raptor. Defense is back up. All right, just stay focused. It's, it's down to less than a bar. Less than a bar, we got this. We've got this. I think I just heard somebody die nearby. That sucks. I hope it wasn't one of my faction people. But we're good, we're good. We got this, we got this, come on. Come on, keep up the pressure. Keep it up. I'm at full health, so I'm not too worried about it. At the moment, I think somebody should just put a shield around me. Oh my god. Okay, all right, keep it up, keep it up. Keep go, 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 burn it down. Burn it down. Oh, it's moving. That's all right. You can run, but you cannot hide, Raptor. I'm looking at the, the, the back end of somebody's mount right now. <laughs> I can't see! Move your mount's butt! Oh, gosh, that hurt. Oh, oh, I think we finished! Did we finish? Yo, we totally finished, didn't we? I can't see. Move your mount, dude. And now it's, it's, it, there's no way this isn't going to break out into some kind of PvP. Yep, look, look, look. I can see pew pews going out. If I can find... Okay, that's a 71. I don't want to pick fights with somebody out of my league, of course. And maybe I should just follow the flow of what everybody else is doing. It looks like we are pushing them out of here. Look at this. Yeah, we are dominating this area now. After the fact. Look at that. Look at that. We cleared them out. We totally cleared them out, man. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. <laughs> Everybody's ganging up on this uh, this level 90 plus something. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, uh, I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind getting some hits in. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Alright, so let's see. We got a couple of chests that I can open. There we go. There's something. Isn't this the same? Yeah, book for. Uh, increasing by hunter level so we got uh, we got that I believe this is actually a reward from doing the uh, the dragon before let's see boost hunter XP yeah that's exactly I think where we we, uh, we got that we get a monster siege victory chest uh, can contain mount upgrade pills spiritual dew pet upgrade stones frosty shards or raptor shards okay and it looks like we got, uh, I believe that's pet upgrade material there. Raptor shards, that sounds to me like, yeah. I've also got a master uh, mal uh, shard here. If I can collect 60 of these uh, these shards, then uh, then I'll get uh, master mal. And it sounds like the same uh, for the raptor. You, you do the event enough times, you might get a shard. And if you can collect enough of the uh, the shards, then uh, then you can unlock the uh, the raptor or, or whatever it is. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, here we are. Palace Hall, holy crap, look at that thing over there. Is that the boss? D yeah, that's that, that's gotta be the boss. Duke Nicholas. And somebody's over there attacking the phantoms. Uh, do we have to attack the phantoms first? Looks like we might have to, wait. Wait, no we don't. We got Duke already is attacking. And we're being attacked. You know what, I'm gonna let them do the phantoms if if that's what they want to do i'm gonna put pressure on duke in fact you know what screw this get on the dragon that's what i'm talking about oh did i just do that perfectly too it looks like he's doing some kind of ground effect oh that was brilliant timing i think look at this dude getting absolutely destroyed right now this is the hard mode really <laughs> wow this this this, this is probably the easiest dungeon yet. Hang on, what is that? Oh! Oh, I am totally bidding on that. Yo, are you kidding me? There's like some uh, legendary, I think that's a staff? For uh, for Ice Mage, for me. 
Do I get it? Do I get it? Yes! I got it! Yeah! Woo! I'm so sick of having, like, ridiculously long bidding battles with people over stuff. I just got it one shot. No problem. Super cheap, too. Okay, now here we go. We're gonna start bidding on this headpiece, and I want it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me have it. Let me have it. What happened? I got it! Yes! Oh my god, that is awesome. I got two big upgrades uh, for my character in this run. That is, that is sweet. That is freaking sweet. And that, that I'm, I mean, I think it's because we have a, a total, we're, like we're a higher level than, uh, than maybe this dungeon's requirements. Uh, are and that's why we we burned down that guy so fast if I remember correctly, yeah, 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 that's right at 60 I unlocked this dungeon so I was supposed to be doing this like 10 levels ago or whatever. That's why it was uh, so easy uh, Okay, so then I am definitely going to my inventory and Going to where is my stuff? I look at all this stuff in here. This is nuts. Uh, so is this it as Woth one level 60 ice mage Comes with 1326, which is my main stat. Oh, that is beautiful. What about uh, what about down here? Bonus attributes 3.4. No additional defense, but I've got uh, a big boost in HP. Uh, I've also got not just crit resist, but uh, crit increase as well. Hell yes. Go ahead and equip that. Uh, exchange. Fortify, yes. Okay, cool. So that's that. And then there was also this uh, this headpiece. Yeah, so we, we not only get better wisdom in spirit, but we also get a nice big chunk of, uh, of stamina as well. And instead of a defense, we get HP, recovery, and increased crit. Definitely uh, a plus there. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. We'll get rid of this and clean out some of the other stuff and then we're gonna fortify. So here, there's the uh, the new wand. Now we got a 75% chance. Fortified, nice. Okay, cool. So we went from plus uh, six to to plus seven successfully there, uh, which is nice. And now it's down to 65. You know what? I'm I'm good. I'm I'm a quit while <laughs> I'm a quit while I'm ahead. Uh, also here in the uh, the insert uh, section, this is where you can uh, you can put gems into your. Uh, equipment. Actually, you know what? If we go to synthesize here, this is where we can convert uh, minor gems into more valuable gems if you you have them. Okay, so I've got uh, four spirit gems. I can take three of those and combine them and to make a, uh, a a higher quality. So we'll go ahead and synthesize that. Uh, so okay, so here we go. We've got the uh, the different colored rings, of course, representing the different gems. And if we go, here we go. Stamina, I will go ahead and insert the uh, the stamina gem into that spot. And let's see, what else What else do we have going on here? We could put a, a small wisdom gem if you want. And there's, there's another slot for a nice big, uh, nice big stamina gem. And yeah, so that's, uh, that's, that's basically the gist of it, uh, how the, um, oh yeah, that's right, we, uh, we crafted a, a level 3 spirit jewel, let's go ahead and we will insert that into that piece, very, very nice, and, uh, yeah, so there's, like, a quick, uh, look, it's pretty self-explanatory, uh, but I thought, uh, it would be fun to, to take a quick look at, uh, at what it's like, uh, putting in the, uh, the different gems into, uh, your gear. Anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for this, today's video, Dragon Hunter Tai Chi Panda 3. If you would like more information and also may probably want to look into the giveaway that I believe is still running uh, right now, get like a little starter kit for your character, definitely check the links down in the description of this video. Uh, this game is, it's free to play. It, it's an MMORPG. They're really stepping it up with uh, with better and better MMOs I, I see uh, on mobiles. Uh, you can get it for your Android, I believe your iPhone as well. I've got it here on, uh, on Bluestacks PC, but I also 
also play it uh, on my tablet as well. And like I said, that's like when it kind of comes in handy uh, a little bit better because I can mash the, the buttons better for the uh, the mount hunting quest. But uh, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Click the like button to support these first look videos here on the channel. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Thanks again for watching. This is Kinetic, and I'll see you next time.